22 minutes before 7. Not all punting is contained to the horses. There is another interesting bet taking this place in another field altogether, a field that actually gets mentioned in the front page of The Age this morning as being a reason that consumers are flocking back to the shops, and that is rising house prices. I want to discuss that with you later. I'll discuss mm. it with our next two guests as well. Rising house prices at a share market, a five-year higher, drawing consumers back into the shops. So is my mum checking her share portfolio and the value of her house and then scurrying out to Chadston, is she? Yeah. Sometimes sorry, you East wonder whether economists have got any idea. East Melbourne, you know. Oh, sorry, East Melbourne. Um, it is this. Um, to explain, we've got Greville Papst and Graham Mirabito. Gra- Greville is from the WBP Property Group and Graham is uh, CEO of RP Data. What they do is they're going to predict what is going to happen in the next 12 months in the property market. Right. Everyone's biggest investment in their life is their home. Greville and Graham, good morning to you. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Ross. Uh, uh, starting with you, Greville, you guys are basically competitors, are you not? Uh, not really. We run a WBP is a, a property advisory and evaluation group, and RP Data is a uh, is a, a data company. And so what, uh, we, um, we don't really compete no. in the same market, but we're, we're in the same industry. Right, we're all the customer. Right. So what you're going to do is you are going to tell us what's going to happen in the tw- next twelve months in the, the residential property market. Correct, Gravel? Yeah. Well, Graham and I have a bet every year, and uh, and this year the bet was that. Um, I said that house prices in Melbourne were going to grow by 8% uh, this calendar year. And uh, it looks like uh, we're 10 months in to the year. And uh, uh, on my reckoning, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've, uh, we've passed the post and, uh, and uh, we've hit uh, 8%. So I'm not sure whether Graham wants to concede that well, <laughs> right now gonna, or not. You're going to concede, Graham? Well, you know, we are the data company and we produce these results. And the results here to date are 8.1%. But... I do need to remind you that the year is not over yet. There's two months to run. And I did look at the index. We have a daily index. We value every property in five capital cities. And I'm sorry, Gravel, but it's dropped back uh, a couple of percentage points, uh, basis points, sorry. What, what, was, what was his prediction originally? His, his is 8% <clears throat> for the year end. Yeah. And I'm saying that 8% is too aggressive for Melbourne for a whole year. This is at the beginning of the year we made the bet. So, uh, what did you say? What was your figure? Uh, le- less than 8 uh, we were just eight was the benchmark. He said oh. over eight. I said less than eight. We had the same bet last year, and um, unfortunately he won. But he is one of my customers, so I concede defeat gracefully. Well, you've gone the early crow, though, Greville. Mm. If there's two months to go and you're yep. claiming eight percent, you're, 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 you're just point. you're just conv- are you confident, Greville, that there's nothing going to happen between now and December 31? No, look, I'm I'm very uh, I'm very confident, and I've certainly seen uh, a lot more confidence back into the market, particularly since the change of the government and. Uh, you know, we're about, about to enter our, our busiest period in, uh, in spring, uh, no, uh, after the races in uh, November and early December, and I, I think we'll, uh, we'll, see some, uh, we'll continue to see some growth. I think um, it's going to run really deep this year. I mean, the last auction will, will be, the auction day will be about the 21st of December. We've got seven weekends to go, and uh, the, what I'm seeing out on the street... Um, the depths of buyers, is, you know, particularly in the inner city, there's three or four bidders um, at auction, and there's lots of people still going through um, open for inspection. Right, let's get a few rapid fire answers if we could, uh, the fellas. A, a first one Is there any capital city in Melbourne that has as many weekends where you can't put a house up uh, for auction because of uh, Grand Final Melbourne Cup and the like? No, I think uh, one of the things about auctions here is that your 30% of your market is auction, 70% isn't. So I know you hang on the auction market a lot, but there's a lot of data about the treaty sales, and they show a certainly different picture when you come to units. Right. Units aren't growing as fast as houses. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that one uh, uh, answered. Next 12 months, from now to next Melbourne Cup Day, wh- what's going to happen in the residential property market? Uh, look, uh, I think we're going to continue to see uh, growth. No, put a figure uh, on in, it. In no market, mucking around. Put a figure we'll on it. We'll put our bet up now. Um, right. Look, I, I think we're. I think we're just still going to see. It all depends on on what happens with unemployment. I think that's the real. Uh, the, Call the a real number, Gravel. Come on. Okay, Give a number. Give a name. Me, okay, I'll put a number. I'll. We'll, we'll say our bet next year, Graham. Is uh, what about six percent? Righto. Six percent, Graham. Yeah, I definitely won't hit six. So I'll I'll take him on six. Righto. Hey, listen. What's the prize if you win? Well, the prize is a uh, a nice bottle of um, Italian Barolo, a nice super Tuscan, and uh, at, at one of the most expensive restaurants in Melbourne or Sydney. Right. Our next uh, final question: What's a hot Melbourne suburb for the next twelve months? 
Look, I really like uh, I really like Coburg actually. I think um, Coburg's um, potentially showing it will show a fair bit of growth. It, Sydney Road just keeps uh, just keeps uh, stretching uh, further and further out, and there's some, I think some really good value in Coburg. Is right, Graham. No, no. Uh, look, uh, I've been down on Melbourne around its oversupply of units in the inner city. And I think that's what makes it actually good buying. Property's a long haul, just like the big race today. It's a long race. My tip is actually negotiate very, very hard. Get yourself an inner Melbourne unit. Use Gravel to help you do it because he knows the local market very well. But um, that's a long hold, and it'll be a great tip. In, in a Melbourne unit. Good on you, fellas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Gravel Paps from WBP Property Group and Graham Mirabito from RP Data. How's that? So would, what would your father have said when he turned on the wireless to hear someone urge that a Mel- hot Melbourne suburb was Coburg? Yeah, Remember would, that old... Uh, well, he wouldn't have known where it was for a start. Remember that old Mel- that old joke that uh, you'd ask someone where they're from and they said, I'm from Coburg O. Coburg O. Because whenever someone asks where you're from and you say Coburg, they go, oh...